Hi everyone, my name is Moni. And I'm Naveen from Before You Play. And this is Wayward. Yeah, it's a game designed by Mr. John Gilmore. And it's published by IDW Games. Mm -hmm. It is actually um, a game based off of a comic of the same title yep. that was published by Image, Image and yep. picked up by IDW Publishing for a board game. Yep. So today we are going to play it. So if you give it a second, we're going to go get set up and we will see you in a bit. All right, shall we? Let's go. Yep. Okay, so we are now set up for a two-player game of Wayward, and uh, before we begin, we just kind of want to give you a brief overview of the theme, or like the story, because earlier we briefly mentioned that the game is based off of a comic book published mm -hmm. by Image called Wayward, mm -hmm. and it was picked up by IDW for the game. But the, the story is about a teenage girl named Rory, and Naveen is actually playing as Rory. This is, this yep, is her right here. Little player. She is um, half Irish and half Japanese, and she moves to Japan to be with her mother. And uh, she starts high school there, and as soon as she starts, she starts noticing kind of strange things happening around Japan. She starts seeing yokai, which are like the evil bad guy spirits mm -hmm. of the story. Yep. Um, she meets other characters who also kind of have other abilities, and together they're called the wayward, the wayward. children. Yeah. Um, and then she sees what's considered the weave, which is like the thread of destiny for her. Um, and so I guess uh, throughout the whole story, they're battling these yokai to try to protect the weave, is what I gather. Um, and so, here in the middle, I'm just going to give you the, the lay of the land of the board before we begin. Mm -hmm. And we'll kind of like briefly discuss how the game is played and we'll, dis we'll do the full rules teach while we play. While we play, yeah. So, here in the middle of the table, we have the, the game board. And the game board is separated into six different locations. These are five different locations around Japan, and then the last location being the shopping district, where we're going to be going to heal and shop for items. Mm -hmm. So our two, our two uh, characters start in the location that has the most of these yokai, uh, as evidenced by their dice, I guess. Right, there's a lot of cards. There's a lot of cards on, in mm -hmm. that location. And so there are three different colors of yokai. They're green, green, blue, and red. And they increase in uh, difficulty, so the yes. green are the easiest to defeat, and then blue, and then the red are the hardest. Right. Uh, and so they're all kind of set up here. At the upper right-hand corner, we have the actual weave. So this is the weave board, and this is the weave tracker. And once this, oops, once this tracker gets to the very, very end of this weave board, all the way here, um, this means the weave is fully unraveled, and we lose. Yes, we don't want that. We don't want that. Yes. That's very, very bad. It's one of our loose conditions. That is, that is, yeah, that's like... That is our lose condition, yes. basically. <laughs> yes. <laughs> On this board, we also have these six counteraction uh, tiles, which we're going to be taking to use for its energy um, as we take turns. Yeah, all, all actions in this game, most actions in this game will require energy, so yes. that's why we have to get them. Right, and so each turn, uh, each of us are going to choose one of these tiles to use. Um, as the, the token goes from color to color, these counter tiles may change, and mm -hmm. some of the things in the game change as well. Right. So just know that that's, that's a thing. At the bottom right-hand corner here is our... Um, scenario. Scenario. Yep. The game comes with five different scenarios, and if we mm -hmm. haven't gathered from this already, it's completely co-op. So we're yes. working together to defeat the yokai and go through this whole thing together to win. And so um, we are going to be playing the easiest scenario, which is at Tsuchi Gumo, uh, which I guess are the dirt spiders of Japan. Yeah evidenced by this boss. Um, each scenario is essentially played the same. They just have different objectives or essentially di different win conditions. And win some and of them, conditions, yeah. Yeah, some of them have rules changes. Mm -hmm. And then they also all have different um, bosses and different event card decks. And they're specific to the scenario. Right. So that is that. We also have a bunch of wound tokens. We have our dice counters. We have our dice, dice. that we're going to be using, mm -hmm. as well as our the upgrade token um, yeah, we'll talk about that. We'll talk about later. Mm -hmm. And then each of us also has chosen a character. Yes. Naveen is playing as the main Rory. character of the story. Yes, Rory. Rory. Uh -huh. And so Rory is the weaver. So she is yes. kind of like responsible for the weave. And right. so um, I am playing as Ayani, uh, who is a troublemaker. And so on each of our boards, we have these three different sections where we're going to be upgrading our abilities that help our character do specific things. Mm -hmm. And all the characters do different things. Right. So like my character is going to help us during attack. And um, Naveen's character is going to help with re-rolls, etc., yes. which we'll kind of learn about the mm -hmm. game. Okay? Exactly. So, the object of our scenario <coughs> is to defeat these proxy tokens. So, if you notice on the board, there, there's a one proxy token per location here, besides the shopping district. And so, what we need to do in this game is we need to go to the, each of these locations, defeat all the yokai in the location, and then collectively spend 10 energy to, defeat the, right. to eliminate the proxy token. Mm -hmm. 
once we've eliminated the fifth one, then we win. Right. So we just want to get all five of them out before the weave unravels completely. Correct. So um, we're going to begin and we'll discuss how to play as we play. Okay, Sounds just good? as a reminder, both of our characters are starting in section two because they're the most yokai are present. Yokai are present. Okay. So we're going to find out who goes first. Ready? Yep. yep. Oh, right, that was easy. Okay, so I'm going to get this this tile to start, which <coughs> basically means I'm the first player, and if we need to take upgrades, then I go first. Right. Okay, so before we get started, um, we do want to point out that uh, these yokai are set up according to the rules of the um, the scenario, and we also uh, flipped the um, the event card that is going to be in play for this particular round of the game. Okay. Right. So if this if the event card says that something happens immediately, then that would happen now. Right. But in this situation, it's it doesn't, so we're fine. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So uh, I'm going to start, and on a player's turn, the first thing that happens is we choose one of these counter action tiles. Now, if none of these are available, or we don't want to choose whatever is left, before choosing, we can refresh mm -hmm. the tiles. And so if we refresh the tiles and something bad happens, so we'll kind of go into tile refresh later. Yeah, that our, will happen over the course of It will of the happen game. Mm -hmm. several times so we'll talk the about the game. It. Uh, and our specific event card for this round uh, occurs on tile refresh. What is it? So this one actually says, if all characters are not at the shopping district location, you unravel the weave by two. Oh, okay, so we gotta get there. So we gotta get there okay. whenever we decide to, to refresh, refresh this, this okay. counter. So the first thing that happens then in this in this scenario is I choose one of these um, counter tiles. Um, whatever it says in the middle is gonna happen. Right. And so right now they vary from spawning more of these yokai. You can spawn green or blue yokai, mm -hmm. um, or you can have the green yokai or blue yokai attack. attack. Okay. So, and then at the top right corner, there's a number and it tells me how many energy I'm going to gain to be able to use on my turn. Okay. So, uh, which one should we do? <laughs> I don't know, maybe the blue yokai attack. That could, that blue yokai attack is nice. It gives you nice. six, you're here. Because um, it'll give me six energy, mm -hmm. and I'm there in a region, I guess that's not so bad. Yeah. Do you so, want to do that? Yeah, I'm going to do okay. it. So I'm going to flip over this counter action right. So that one says blue yokai attack, so she's going to first get her six energy. So I take the six energy okay. and I'm going to choose an area that has blue yokai in it. Which is area two or, or three. area three. Okay. And all of the blue yokai in that area attack. Right. And so there's only one. So let's flip this over. I'm going to have um, location two attack because we're there. Mm -hmm. And so the way that attack works is you're going to look at the, the, the yokai who are attacking. Yep. In this case, it's just this blue one here. There are dice at the top right hand corner. Those are the colored dice um, that you're going to roll. Yes. So can you pass me the dice? Yeah, right, so please? white is most forgiving, yellow is medium, and black is the least forgiving of dice. Yes. On the dice, there are also these symbols. So they range in numbers. So I guess That's for one. the yellow dice, it's one through five. five. Yep. And then the white dice, it's zero to three. And the black die, it's two, three to seven. Two to seven. Two to seven. Two to seven. Okay. two to seven. So the black die is the worst. Yes. And then on the dice, there are also these symbols. So this like... Outline. Hollow, yeah. hollow outline circle versus a filled in circle. Those are the amount of wounds or hits that mm -hmm. either we as the characters are going to take or the, the weave, weave is going to take, yeah. depending on how we roll. Right. So for this specific yokai, we're going to roll two yellow dice. All right, roll uh, up. <laughs> ready, go. Oh, oh wow, okay. that was terrible. Okay. So, okay. Um, and so after you roll, you're going to determine how many of those symbols are showing. Right. So for each of these hollowed out circles, you take one hit to yourself or to the weave. So in this case, two. In this case, two. Okay. So because our characters are in the location of the yokai, we can take them as wounds right. instead of um, instead of the weave unraveling by two. Mm -hmm. So I, and, and my specific character is a troublemaker. So it says when the yokai attack at my location, I must be chosen as a target of the attack if possible. Oh, I see, okay. So typically when you roll the die and the attack, if it's on my turn, then the Naveen character would, would get hit. Mm -hmm. But because I'm the troublemaker, I'm gonna take the wounds. Okay, gotcha. So in this case, I take two wounds. We can take a maximum of four wounds. Once you hit four wounds, you don't die or anything. There's no player elimination, right. but um, you are no longer able to move for free. Yes. The first move, which we'll talk about later. Yeah. Uh, and you can no longer take more wounds. So if you were in a location where the yokai attack, then yeah, the must weave, attack the weave. You yeah. must, they must attack the weave. Right. So that is done. Okay. Not that the was best terrible. Role. Not the best roll to kind start. Kind of the worst roll. Okay. And so now I have six energy to spend. Yes. So on my turn, I can do um, <laughs> five different things, basically. I can yeah. move. My first movement, as long as I don't have four wounds, is free, and yes. you can move to any location from your location. There's uh, no with your particular character, any additional move is also free. Ah, yes. Mm -hmm. So our characters also have their own um, additional abilities. Sure. For the rest of the characters, after the first move, 
to move again is what spend, you have to spend one energy. energy yeah. My character is always free to move. Right, that's nice. So yeah, that's she's a free good. spirit. Um, and so other things that you can do are you can attack, and we'll talk about that as well. Yep. And then you can buy items and you can unravel the weave. All right. So what, what do you want to do? So what I want to do is I should probably I have six energy to spend. So I probably want to move to a location and try to knock out some of these bad guys, yeah, right? Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Um, we didn't discuss this earlier, but each bad guy has an ability. So when they're placed in these locations, they're placed in what's called stacks. And so only the, the most forward-facing yokai's ability is actually in play. Yeah, and the ability is shown in this little gray box right mm -hmm. here. And they range. Some of them are like immediately when you when you flip them, something happens. Exposed. Some mm -hmm. of them are ongoing. Some of them are when revealed. And right. so those when revealed yokai, those um, abilities happen every time they are the forward-facing right. character in the stack. So, let's see. Some of these, it's going to go over them. This one doesn't matter because this is revealed during yeah, setup. Yeah, it's already been revealed. Mm -hmm. But this yokai says, characters at this location cannot refresh counter action tiles unless they are all face down, which is not so bad. Not too bad. This one is also ongoing. It says characters must pay two additional energy to leave this location. Ooh, not like good. That, yeah. This one says characters at this location cannot refresh counter action tiles. The same thing, because they're yeah. both the same yokai. Yeah. This, same this is the same one. one. Mm -hmm. Three of the same. So those ones are not so bad. So I should probably, I have six energy. Let's get some upgrades, right? Okay. So let's go to, I'm just going to go to Mij Mijiro here. Okay. Mijiro. I am, yeah, I need this one. Yep. So I'm going to move here. Sorry. And that didn't cost me anything. And right. now I'm going to attack this yokai. Okay. So um, the way that the attacking works is when you attack a yokai at the at top at the top here, it kind of tells you the range of its attack abilities. Yeah, it's strength. It's strength. So the maximum this this boss is ever going to be able to roll is three because it only requires one white die. Yeah. Which so is rated from zero to three. Yeah. So before you attack, you must you're basically going to be wager wagering a bet. So you're going to be um, putting out a certain amount of energy to spend on this attack. Yes. If you are successful, you spend the whole amount. If you fail, you also spend the whole amount. Right. So what do... How much do you I don't use? know. What, do I, you just be safe? Maybe two? Three? I don't do... have any rerolls. There's how many, how many threes there. are on there? Are there only one three or two threes on there? Ooh, there's two there's threes. There's two threes. So one th oh, Okay. I'm going to go with three. Okay. So, so spend I'm going to spend okay. three energy. So she spent three energy, so we're going to do the attack strength of one, two, three. This is how we kind of keep track of how much is being how spent. How much I'm wagering okay. here. Yep. And if you can pass me the dice tray. Well, no matter what, you're going to beat them, but you might as well roll it. I'm just going to kind of go through the motions. Yeah. The motions. So I roll the white, one white die, and two, two I win. Two. So all I right. beat the boss. Or not yeah. the boss. I beat the yokai. the yokai. So all of the energy that I wagered gets no spent. No matter what gets spent. And then on the card itself, at the top here, there's a yellow symbol, and the yellow has a number, and it tells us how many upgrades so that we get to our characters. Mm -hmm. So this one, we get two upgrades. Starting with the person who has this tile, um, you divvy out upgrades. the upgrades. So I get one, and Naveen gets one. Yep. And then I get to keep this tile, because it goes to the, the next person after it, last person. Right. Okay, upgrade. so we'll just take this out. So that goes out, okay, and I'm upgrade? going to increase my green attack strength <coughs> here. Okay. So my green column has to do with increasing um, attack strength against, the green. against the green yokai. So okay. now I always have a, a base level of one Perfect. energy to spend. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and move up uh, my attack also. Uh, because I'm moving up this, this symbol right here allows me to gain energy instantly. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And my left is uh, going to help with attacking. So mm -hmm. kind of how in Monique just rolled. Um, if I can hit certain thresholds, I can re-roll yeah. a die. Okay? Which is really useful. Which we'll get to when we get there. Uh, okay. okay, so I spent my three energy to, to do that. Um, I do have, I have more. I could just move to Mayaka and try to... To bust them out? And defeat that Not one as out. well, okay. right? You could also go here to heal and then pick up items. Because you do have two wounds. I do. I kind of like the idea of defeating that bot. Okay, yeah, yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Okay, so I'm going to move again. Okay, so, so that's free great. And so... <laughs> I am going to attack that yokai as well. Okay. This is another green yokai with the same number, the same die. Uh, <laughs> Do you want to spend three die. again? No, because I now have this green oh, plus that's one right. attack strength. That's right. So I have a base value of one. Of one. That's so right. I really only need to spend two to, be to successfully safe. defeat this boss. Okay. So I'm going to spend two of them. 
but it's a total of three attack. Three attack. Or is it my bonus? One, so we'll two, go through three. the motions here. You are going to beat this because the max is three. I wonder what will happen. Oh, oh wow. Three. I get the three. Okay, perfect. <laughs> so you only have to tie. Yes. If you, if, uh, if you tie, you still yeah. defeat the... Tie goes to you. The tie goes to you. Okay. So I defeated this this uh, yokai. Okay. And the reason why I want to defeat this is so we can keep on getting these upgrades. Yeah, these on. upgrades are nice. Okay. They help us. So let's move this counter turn down. So this one comes with two upgrades. Okay, so, so I one get to one, you, one to me. you get one. All right. What do I want to do? If I go up on this track again, I can get another energy to That's spend true. on healing a wound. That's not bad. Go there and heal a wound. Sure. Right? Or you can get a you can get items also. I could get items. Okay, I'm gonna go up on. Yeah, that's a good this. idea. Okay. Just get one. Did you go? Did you I'm not gonna. Again? I'm gonna go up this one right here, which uh, helps reduce my costs uh, to do my special action, which is weakness. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to finish out my turn by. I have two. I guess I could come here. And defeat one of these. You're just gonna go around the board and just maybe yeah, I won't. I'm gonna go to the flying around, huh? I'm gonna go to the shop. Yeah, so all your additional movements are free because of your character ability. Right. If I was to do that, it would cost me one energy to move around the board. So I'm in the shopping district. At the shopping district, you can heal your wounds, two energy per wound. Per wound. Okay. Or you can shop, and the shop can you can only shop once per turn. You can't yes. like go there and spend it and do it right. again. So um, should I heal or should <coughs> I get items? Um. Well, either way, the next turn you're gonna start there, so True. you can you can heal later. Maybe just shop. Yeah. Okay, it, I'll shop. It, the order of operations here really doesn't matter, but it would be nice to know what kind of items you potentially have. Okay. So, in order to and you can also carry on your energy. You don't have to spend them yeah. all yeah, on your you, turn. Yeah. It's always um, good to retain some energy. So in order to shop, you spend a certain amount of energy. So say if I spend two energy, you get to draw that many cards and you keep one. Keep one yeah. If you spend an additional two more energy, then you can keep two cards yeah, instead so of it's one. Yeah, so it's like you would have to spend Three. four energy if to you spend keep two. Right. Four energy to keep two. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes, that's mm -hmm. true. Yeah, that's, that's a lot of energy. It's a lot of energy, which you don't have. <laughs> which you don't have. So I'm yeah. going to just spend one <laughs> yes. and keep one. So this is my item. Ah, oh wow. What do you got? I think this is my actual characters. Spike club? This is my club? character. Yeah, it looks like he goes Wow, that was serendipitous. What is that? Okay, so this is a spike club. Okay. Um, some items are like, you discard them to use them and then they go bye-bye. And some items you can equip. You can equip up to two items and I have the spike club, which also just happens to be my character's weapon somehow. Okay. And it says, once per turn, before attacking, you temporarily change one die in the attack to the next lowest oh, color. Oh, okay. So, so this is more later. It's more late game, but yeah. uh, we didn't we didn't mention there are three different... Yeah, actually, we did mention the type of dice. The, yeah. the yellow dice and the black die are kind of worse. Right. And so once per turn, I can temporarily change one of the dice needed to an easier die. Right, so like uh, if we were awesome. to fight this, this red boss or this red yokai... It's a black die, which is the worst type. You yeah. can then use your ability to turn one of these black dice into a yellow, yellow die. die, which is a medium die. Okay. Yes. Perfect. So that's that's awesome. Um, I only have one energy left. I think I'm going to save it. Yeah, just retain it. But yep. just to kind of discuss what else you can do, you can also, on your turn, do one of your actual uh, character abilities that are specific to you. Mm -hmm. We didn't discuss that earlier, but my character allows me... I can spend one energy to do claws, which says when attacking, I may re-roll oh, one nice. die. Okay. Oh, Yeah, I didn't realize you had awesome. that. That's <laughs> awesome. I don't well, know that either. Um, and then my last, my last thing is uh, cat form. Cat form. Okay. And so that says during an attack, after rolling, I can cancel the attack. So I guess. Oh, you can just bow out of the attack yes. and be like, no. Actually, it like failed. I, I don't like what's gonna happen there. I'm gonna spend an extra three energy to, to just cancel that avoid, attack. Just say it never happened. Yeah. So okay. I, so the three energy gets lost, <laughs> but the energy I wagered, I get to keep. Okay. Cool. Uh, like that. And that's it. Perfect. So okay. Your turn. All right, my turn. So I have to first select one of these. Uh, I don't think I want to spawn a blue yokai yet to get five. I do have one energy from these upgrades that we did. Uh, let's go ahead and have a green yokai attack. Okay. Okay. So, so which which location? It's gonna give are me you? four. Go ahead and just just roll that over. One, two, three, four. That gives me five total. It's been spent. Um, you know, I could take the 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 wounds here. And kind of mirror what you did and go over here. I think or that's... I can take a chance here and just hope that, you know, a two out of three chance we're not going to roll one of those symbols that we need. And then if we do, then it attacks the, the 
the weave. Yeah, I vote that you take the weave. <laughs> you vote for that. <laughs> I really don't want to unravel the, the weave this early Let's on in the game. All right, so we're going to go here. Uh, so all the green yokai are going to attack. We have two green yokai, one, two, three white dice to represent those three yokai. So we want to get as many blanks as possible here. No symbols. Good luck. No Yay, symbols. All right, good job. perfect. <laughs> Excellent. So, uh, so no, best case no, scenario there. Yeah, no injuries here. Worst case scenario on your first turn. Okay, <laughs> good. So now I'm here. I have five. Uh, let's see. Where where should I go? You have five. Energy? I have five energy. Oh, because of the upgrade that you had spent. Mm -hmm. You got okay. Yeah. So four plus the one. So great. I should probably. Hmm. Gosh, I like how these are empty right here. I would like to try to knock some of these tokens out, but I don't think we can. Not quite yet. If you mm -hmm. don't do anything on your turn and just go to a location, I can pull the one of these and okay. go to that location and then we can collectively just spend collectively 10 together. Spend it or it it's kind of early game. Defeating yokai and getting those upgrades is kind of yeah, a good I think, idea. I think that would be kind of nice. Now, the only thing is I don't want to defeat this yokai because what would happen is if I defeat it, I'm going to reveal, that reveal the red yokai's oh, ability. Oh gosh. And so characters receive one wound whenever they attack yokai at this location. Yeah. So I definitely don't want to do that. I think we that should one. have that one covered and defeated and defeat covered. It. Right. So that way uh, it's ongoing. Yeah, we didn't mention this earlier, but yeah. you do not have to defeat yokai in the order that they yeah. appear. Yes, you, you can choose. You choose which ones in the stack that right. you want to defeat and then you attack yeah. like that. You do have to declare it. You uh, do, yeah. yeah. You can't just roll and say, because of this roll, I, I now am going to place these dice. Yeah, you have you to know, declare it first. Declare who you're, you're Do you have any rerolls? Uh, I don't. Not yet. Okay. But in order to get rerolls, I need to attack some of these guys. So I, yeah, I think I so might want to go maybe here. This one? You know, I can go here. Oh, gosh. I can go here and try I'm... to knock this one out. Okay. But, yeah. I'm, I can get with that. Okay. So <coughs> so every every character has one free move action. So that's me. You're Now, if in addition, I want to move, it's going to cost me energy. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and go here and let's uh, let's do what we said. We're gonna attack this one right here now. Do I want to spend the max three energy, or do I want to take my chance? Do you have any rerolls? I don't have any. Then re -rolls. yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm like really for playing this safe but, right now. Okay, real conservative. And then one, once two, we have rerolls, we can. Kind so of... it's gonna cost me one, two, three. No matter what, I'm spending it. Now we are gonna defeat this one just like that. But so we're gonna go let's the go motions. through the motions. All right. One. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Well, at least we defeated it. Well, right. Uh, we so, Akan Akaname goes bye-bye. Yes, okay. And gives us two, two upgrades. upgrades. again, same thing. So, starting with me. Starting with you. We yes. each get one, so that's... Yeah. I'm going to increase my green attack strength again. Okay, just going straight green, huh? Well... Well, we have this blue person here. Okay, fine. Let's not do that. I'm going to increase my blue attack yeah, strength. Yeah, I think that would be pretty good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and technically I should have went first, but it didn't matter because it's a... No, I number. go first because I have this tile. Technically, you go first. <laughs> it doesn't matter. because It doesn't tiles, matter. Like you said. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and try to boost this reroll. So because I went up, it gives me one more because I have that symbol there, yep. which is good. Yeah, so, so every three. time our upgrade token goes to this circle here, it just gives us yeah. One just one instant. It's one not like a. Immediate it's not a permanent spend. energy, but it's just an instant one. Yeah, that you can spend. Okay, and I'm not going to move an additional space because that would require require me to pay. So, are you completing your turn? I think that's it. You could it. draw items. You could come here. I, I would have to pay one. one. Okay. I think items are kind of important. Items are kind of nice right now. Yeah. yeah. So, okay. Really so, nice. so to do an additional move, it's going to cost me one. So let's go ahead and just go through the motions. Don't have worry. Sorry. Okay. So three goes down to two, mm -hmm. and I think I am only going to spend one and just take whatever item I get. Okay. Because I, I could spend two, look at two, and keep one, but I think I'd like to retain some energy. Sure. Okay. Just do so one. I'm going to spend that. Let's take a look. Ooh. Can I look? Can I expose this? Sure. Uh, I think, yes. It doesn't, <laughs> the rule book doesn't explicitly say that you can, that they're public that knowledge, like but we anything. can share them. This so is like, part of our strategy, right? Yeah. So if ever you, the, your characters are in the same location, you can give each other items. Unless it's equipped. If it's equipped, you can only discard right. it out right. of your so hand. So technically that's not equipped yet. I equipped it. Oh, did you? Yeah, okay. I did. You just said, but I'm I, taking it. I want it. Okay. <laughs> I gotcha. like it. You didn't, you didn't say the words. I right. equipped it. So okay. that's... <laughs> So we can only um, pass on items that are in your hands. Okay, so. so I just drew a Molotov cocktail. So Whoa. what this card does is choose up to five yokai at your location and permanently change one die on each yokai card to the next lowest. So 
And if I was here, I can go and spend this and turn, now white is the lowest, so it wouldn't do anything to these green ones, but I can turn one of these yellow into a white. Oh, on each these, yokai yes, card. And one of these That's black nice. into a yellow. Forever. Uh, forever, forever. It's a permanent thing that we would do. So, uh, maybe if, if more stack up, especially in this area, that would be a little more okay. useful. Are well, you finished? That's it, yeah, I'm not gonna okay. go anywhere else. So, how many energy do you have? One. one. A. So we need to have, we need to spend collectively 10 energy. Ten. Yeah. If we're both in the same location, yeah, to we can spend 10 to defeat this proxy token. Yeah, that's not going to happen quite yet. Uh, Maybe we should just start hammering I'm going to spawn a blue yokai. Spawning a blue one, okay. Because I realize that if I have the green yokai attack, then none of us are in this location to take those wounds. Yeah. So, actually... We can have, we can, let's spawn a green yokai. Spawn a green yokai. Okay, let's do it. Okay. So it's, it's going to get you three. It's going to get me three. So one, two, three. So I have four energy to spend okay. this turn. And so the way that spawning works is you flip over the, the top green yokai card. Okay. It's going to give us a location number, a in, the number in the top left. And you just put that five, yokai so. there. Oh, all oh, our hard work. Now there's something that says when revealed. Let's go ahead and resolve that. When revealed, unravel the weave by one or flip one face up, counter action tile face down. We're going to flip <coughs> the counter action tile. Yeah. Do you want to flip over the spawn green yokai? Sure. Yeah, that's not... Or do you want the green yokai to not attack? No, let, let's let's do that because there, we can do a green yokai attack here. Okay. So we're gonna flip that over. And that's only worth three energy that we're wasting. True. So it does speed it up a little bit, but I think that's okay. Okay, so now I take my actions. I have four yeah, energy to you spend. Have four. Where do you want to go? Um, and I have, I do have this spike club. You which have is a spike cool. club. The spike club affects. Uh, well, you can go here, because you have a blue benefit, and you can use your spike club to turn this yellow into a white. If I turn that yellow into a white, then the maximum that it could be is a is eight. Three plus five. The, the yellow oh, die goes five. to five. Okay. okay. Oh yeah. yeah, three, five, seven. Okay, so eight, and I have four. Plus an inherent so one. So five. five. I would really be taking my chances. You would be. Hmm. <laughs> I don't see... There's no risk in this. But I'd be... No, because if I go there and I don't defeat it, I'm stuck in that location. You are stuck in that location. Because of that ongoing, yeah. ongoing action. Okay. Um, And this guy is not really doing any more... Damage to us at the moment. This no. oh zero to six. Yeah, but I, you have a uh, attack strength on that. I do. Should I just defeat that one? Oni. Yeah. So I'm gonna go here and okay. defeat this one <laughs> so that we can get the upgrade. Yeah, I think um, that's good. You are the spike yeah, lady. I'm gonna move here, yes. and I'm going to spend. So I have a plus one attack strength here. So. <laughs> I, I really don't want to lose. <laughs> you do also. You can also spend one to re-roll a die. Okay, so I'm gonna so spend can... one. Yeah, one. I'm gonna spend one energy, and I have a plus one attack strength here. So, so a total of two. two. So you just basically need to not roll so a, two your attack strength is two. You and need then... to not roll a three, but you can also spend an extra energy to re-roll a die. I can. I can use claws. Yes. Okay. Good luck. Zero. Whoa. You know things. Special effects. All right, that's good. <laughs> Cool. Okay. Very nice. So perfect. Best case scenario. No, best case scenario. So we defeated. Kappa. Well, best case scenario would have been you not spending any energy. Well, and then rolling a zero. I, I'm not into taking those <laughs> kinds of chances. That's best so case scenario. This is two two upgrades. Okay, one for you, one for me. Yeah. Perfect. So yeah. I'm going to I'm going to add a plus one attack strength to the green. You know, I'm going to get myself a reroll. I might as well now. Yeah. Or should I should I go here to get the extra energy so we can try to defeat this thing? Well, we're not going to get to. Two, plus I can take the four. I only have three. Or I can spawn a blue, okay. Five, so you'll have... Right I'm now you're at two? Yeah. Oh, you're at one. Uh, I'm at one, but if I go up here, it'll move me to two. Oh, and then we can collectively do Correct. that? yeah. Okay, do that. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. okay. <coughs> then, which means I can't do anything more. Yeah, you should probably I should just stay there. Yeah, you should hang tight. Okay. Okay, my turn. So, okay, so I'm going to take... Spawn blue yokai, which gives me five energy. Here. Oh, okay. I just realized. I hope that it doesn't spawn in uh, five. Yeah. We're we're uh, we're taking a eighty percent chance it won't. Okay. Okay. Good luck. Four. Okay. Good. Perfect. So now we have an ongoing effect. So this one says characters must pay two additional energy it's just to like leave this, this one. location. Yeah. Oh, it's ro Roku 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 B. Roku 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 B. Oh, I think I butchered that. No, it's good. Sorry. I liked it. Okay. okay. Go ahead. So I get my free move. 
I'm using my free move now. This is kind of the point of the game right here. What yeah, we're the trying point to of do. this this scenario. This scenario is to spend ten energy combined, combined. with your teammates so I have in the three. same location. I have seven because of what we just did. So we're gonna spend them all. So there goes it all. We defeat this proxy token. And we that flip flips it over, up. And there's something that happens. All characters draw one. Nice. Item. Okay, perfect. So yeah, these tokens they have uh, either positive or negative benefits on them. This one's a positive. All characters draw one item. So uh, after you, is it me? Am I the your turn? player? Okay, let's see. Ooh. Ultra Fizz, discard. Your character gains up to four energy. Ooh. Oh, this is nice. So on his on his turn, he can just yeah, discard when, when or he can give it. it to me if I need it. Right. We are so. in the same location. Oh, this is another equip one. It's a subway pass. Once per turn, you may move for zero energy. Do you want this? I would love that. We're in the same location, so I can give it to him to equip. Yes. Because I can move for free anyway. Right. So I think that's a smart it. thing to do. I will do. take it and officially equip it. Yay. Yes. So now you have two movements for zero energy as long as you don't have full wounds. Correct. Because your first movement's free. Perfect. Right? I like it. That's great. Awesome. I'm glad we're in the same place. Yeah. Okay. And now you can't do anything, right? Now I cannot do anything. So this is going to be... Oh, shoot. What's wrong? We need to be here when this flips over, huh? Oops. That's okay. Go. Oh, I, yeah. Because now you can go on yes, for Yes, I can go energy. for free. Yes. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> excellent. Excellent. What it is our, our event card says when yeah. we refresh all these tiles, which is going to happen very soon. You have to be at the shops. All characters must be at the shopping district location yeah. or else the weave unravels by okay. two. Wow. Good job. I'm that glad was... you pulled the subway pass. Yeah, that was crazy. That was <laughs> I didn't awesome. know that existed in the deck. That's good. So I was actually thinking about refreshing this early, but now that I've saw that, I think I have to take that tile because I need to get into the shopping district or else it unravels by two. Yeah, I think uh, that's good. So my turn, I'm going to take this green yokai okay. attack. I get one, two, three, four energy to okay. use. Flip this over. And I have to choose a location for all the green yokai. It's to identical. We attack. have three white die here and three white die there. So, so. let's just say in... Mickey. Sure, why not? Since it's okay. close to you. All right, roll low. No symbols. Ready? Mm -hmm. One symbol. One symbol, okay. Nobody's in that location, so unfortunately we cannot take it as a wound personally. Right. We officially unravel the weave by one. By one notch, okay, that's Boom. fair. Not so bad. Not so bad. Could have been worse. Um, and so now we can move on to... You can move around. I can move around and do stuff. Yes. So I have... You know, I have four, plus one is five. This is going to be a maximum, oh. Well, you do have your spiked club, so that'll be a max eight. I know, but minus still. Minus your one extra strength to it, seven. I don't have enough energy for that. Yeah. I think I should probably just go here and try to defeat some of the green yokai. The problem here is characters must pay two additional energy to leave this location. Oh yeah, that is a problem. What about this one? Characters at this location, well, you don't want to defeat this one. You want this one to stay here. Right, so I can go here to defeat Oni. Oni, which is a six. Okay. Which is really a five for you because you have the... Oh, no, it's actually you have the max. Oh, oh I have two attacks. Strength. You have two attacks for strength. green. So you have four energy plus two attacks strength to make six, which is the worst situation with Oni. Okay, so let's do it. Okay. So go ahead I'm and move two. Are you gonna spend it all? Location number two. I or don't do you know. wanna you can do the reroll thing. I could. Okay, so I'm going to attack Oni. This is an example of not attacking. Yes, in, in order. So in order. So Oni will just go ahead and take out. So Oni is who we're gonna be attacking here, okay? So you really just have to kind of put it push it to the side. Yeah, really. Just so we know who just it is. Just so we know who who it is we're attacking. Sure. And then technically, if you're attacking multiple um, yokai at the same time, you're supposed to roll the dice one one by one. And declare, yeah. But for right now, we haven't had to run into so that situation. So how many uh, of your four are you going to be spending? So we have a baseline of two. You have a baseline so of two. Just because, because of, of my your ability. Here. Ability. Right. Um, and so it's a maximum of six. What do you think? Hmm. Should we spend two? Yeah, I think so. And yeah, just think that we're going to get a four here? Or spend two? Spend two, okay. So it's a attack strength of four is what four. we're going so for. So you need to roll a four or less. Now you you do have the ability to, to re roll re for one. Ready? Yes. Good Come luck. on, zero one. Three one, perfect. Four. Perfect. Okay. So I got a four. Nothing, or so I win, I guess. <laughs> I win that time round. Means time means I, I beat the boss. Or beat the okay. Oni goes bye bye. And it's two upgrades. One for you, one, one for, for me. me. Yep. And then reset the that counter token. Okay. 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 So I'm going to... I'm going to go up on this reroll track. This is definitely needed. I'm going to go up on 
I'm going to go up here so okay. I get closer to In the, the red, red dark strength. So okay. I have three energy to spend. Very good. So what I just unlocked was I can re-roll a die. Fantastic. Once. Once. I can re-roll a die. That is really good. Uh, should I spend any more? Should I get some items? To go back here? Yeah. Well, so you get to go back here for free. And then, yeah, go get yourself another item. You might I'm as well. I'm going to go here. You can heal a wound and get an item. Yeah, that's true. I'm going to go here. I'm going to... Spend two energy to heal one wound. Perfect. And then I'm going to spend my last energy to just to take whatever take an item. item. Uh, what is it? It's a manga. <laughs> nice. It's cute. It is what it is. So it says if I discard this, I can move all three of my upgrade point tracking cubes forward one space or move one upgrade point tracking cube forward two spaces. That's awesome. Wow. I almost think I should do this just now. Just do it now. Right? Yeah, you might as well. When's the kind of time? Yeah. So move one upgrade token forward two spaces or all of them up one. I'm gonna move all of them up all one. All of them up one, yeah. That okay. gives you. So one attack strength, one additional energy, one additional energy. Nice. So yeah, two, yeah, energy two energy to start energy. the next, <coughs> the next turn. So this gets discarded. Pretty good. Okay. That's a I nice like that. yeah. items are, items are great, uh, and so I end my turn. Okay, perfect. So because now it's my turn and there's uh, none of these tiles that are face up, we We're are going to be going to refresh. Our first tile refresh. Tile refresh, so, okay. first thing that happens... So the good thing is, we can talk about this. We're doing a tile refresh. This uh, card Maybe. basically said that when we do this refresh, we have to be here, so there's no penalty to the weave. Yes, so we refresh all of these. Whoops, that was on the one. Refresh these tiles. Okay. So now that the counter um, tiles have been refreshed, uh, the first thing that happens is any of these yokai that show ha that have yokai abilities that say on tile refresh, mm -hmm. those happen. Yeah, but we fortunately don't have any. Yeah, of those. fortunately right now we just don't happen to have those. Nice. So after that happens, then the yokai actually attack. Okay. So the location with the strongest yokai are going to attack, and the strongest yokai is the the cumulative number of dice icons showing on them. So we have five here and five here. So we have a tie. Okay. In the case of a tie, it's a location with the high, with the more most number of black dice icons. Which so. In this case, it's location number two. So they are all going to attack, which is not all good because right. neither of us are there. Not so good. in this case, we're going to take the that number of dice. It's, I guess it's two yellow, yeah, two, two black, yellow, and one white. Two black. And one white. And a white. Now. Typically, you would roll them separately for each uh, yokai mm -hmm. because if you, in case you need to re-roll, you need to figure out who right. this die is going to which. But in this scenario, we're not going to be able to Nobody's here to yeah, protect. Nobody's there to protect, and we're not actually attacking them, so we're just going to roll them all together and count the symbols. Good luck. Okay. Okay. So just these two? Which are the two single hits. Single hits, okay. And so because neither of us are there, they take the hits directly to the weave. So one, two. Oh, yokai. Oh, boy. We're Head getting closer to this yellow section. You're bad things to us, yokai. Not good. Okay, so uh, I refresh, but I still get the option of taking something here. Before you do, the last thing that happens on oh, okay. Refresh mm -hmm. is we discard the current oh, event. Oh, let's get rid of that thing. And we draw a new one. Okay. Good luck. Yeah, these, these are sometimes pretty bad. So until the next tile refresh, characters may share all energy oh, they nice. have this or gain. Oh, nice. This is a good one. Okay. This is a great one. This energy one. flow. How cool. So we can share energy. Do we have to yeah. be in the same location? It doesn't say that. So, so just it says in this round, we can just your share. energy is mine. Mm -hmm. Interesting. And then now you may take a, an action tile, whichever yes. you'd like. Hmm. I don't think I want the blue yokai to attack. I would suggest... Um, hmm. A green I would suggest yokai attack. Taking the I can have a green yokai attack this one. You can. It's just a single... But I would, yeah, that's actually not bad. But I would suggest uh, choosing the attack tiles before the spawning tiles. Yeah, right. I think so. so. I think I will do a green yokai attack, and I get to choose where the yokai attacks. I'll say in section two because it's only one white dice. Okay, so you get four, four energy, okay. and then you can roll for that green yokai. All right, so we're looking for a non-three, a two. Perfect. Fantastic. So no issue there. No, no hits. Injury to the weave. Weave is is still still kicking. Le weave, wow! This this thing right here is just we got we got to take this while we can, right? Yeah, um, you can spend your your ultra fizz to get four and then, and then you take, can take your mine. two. Yeah, to defeat. That. I mean, how, yeah, right. That's perfect. Yeah, I, I mean that's that's this pretty is the, much that the, time to do it. So that is the free movement. That's literally no yokai objective. to attack here, so we can go ahead and attack uh, or. Um, what are these called again? The proxy tokens. The proxy token. Uh, remember, in this game, it costs 10 energy. I have 4. I'm going to discard my Ultra Fizz, which instantly gives me 4. So I have 8. 
And because of the current conditions of this round, we have energy flow. Monique has two, so two plus my eight. We're just going to spend it all. And goodbye to this. Hopefully Yay. it's something good. It's oh, hey, restore the weave by two. <gasps> oh, awesome. One, two. Nice. That was fantastic. Okay. Good. That's perfect. Okay, so, so two of the five locations are done. So we're 40% of the way through, technically. Yeah, three yeah. more locations and um, we will get you this. Okay. This nice. That, that helped with the weave there. That was like nice. That. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, and I could technically use my pass to move somewhere. I should probably move somewhere. You should, so that if they so attack. So that if they attack, yeah. So well, what are you thinking you're going to want to attack? Well, you did the green yokai, so we still have one more green. You could do another green yokai. I can just hang out here. Well, on my turn, maybe I can do the blue yokai attack. Um, I don't want to be stuck here, though, too long. Because oh, yeah. in order to leave there. I was, yeah, I, they both have the same... The same ongoing ability, so yeah, go, you should go there. I'll hang out here, because okay. this is any one of the three now. Okay. So now now it's up to you what you want to do. And I use my subway pass in order to move there, right? So I right. have free move. It would have cost me one, but because of this subway pass, once per turn, I can move somewhere else for free. I think that, I think that maybe I want to try to defeat this. What is yeah, that? I think it's time Speed to go. Ten. If it goes down, I need an eight. Oh. That is, uh, well, I still, I'm not, I'm still not strong enough for that one. Well, I, I could go here, and you can make blue yokai attack. You can make this blue yokai attack me, and, and then, then, and then best of luck. <laughs> and then you can do the um, six. You can take do the, you know, you take the six right here. Six. That'll give you six plus your natural one seven seven to the ten. Spend it all. Spend it all. Well, it would be it would be seven to the eight because I, with my spike yes, club I can. That's right. Okay, let's do it. I like it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I will. So I will go here. Yes. 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 Okay. We need to defeat this thing though. I know. I'm so we cannot roll an eight. Best. And it'll give us how many upgrades? It'll give us three upgrades. Three, which, which gives is me good. two. It gives you two and gives me one. Gives awesome. You the upgrade. Okay, so we're gonna do blue yokai attack. I get okay. one, two, three, four, five, six energy. Flip this over. I like it. And that's, and I'm going to. Um, no, no, I can't spend this. Not yet. Oh, no, I see. Only on I the see. attack. Only on the but attack. But I'm here to take the wounds if need be. Okay, perfect. So let's roll these two yellow dice. Yeah. On the yokai's attack, you're not using the spike club. Yeah. When you when attack, I attack I you are using, using this. Item, yeah, that wasn't a roll. Ready? That was not a roll. You take Eight. one. Oh, wow. Okay. So I take one. A wound. I'll take the wound. Two. That is a okay. Rory. Rory. Oh, actually, we'll leave this here. Sure. So now it's oh, my we'll turn. Yes. So I'm going to move into this location. Do you make to now um, defeat that one. But it says I can, once per turn before attacking, I can temporarily change one die in the attack to the next okay. lowest so color. So we have two yellows, but because of her spiked club, yellow is now gonna be turned into a lesser uh, white. Okay. So, so worst case scenario is a five and three roll to make an eight. And right now I have a base um, attack strength of one, so let's right. put that so one up there. So you have a one because of your ability. Should I spend it all? <laughs> or no, let's spend um, five of them. That's been okay. five, so it's gonna be a total of six. six. And you, so because you I have retained the one for, for your claws, claws which is a real one. Die. Okay. All right. You wanna roll them both at once? I'm gonna roll them both at once yeah, because I'm only attacking one, one, so it doesn't matter. Come on, low. Come on. Low. So what is it? Six total that it I have. It is six total. All right. Seven. Seven. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna spend my last. I should just spend them all. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I'm gonna spend my last okay. energy to so reroll. You're gonna keep the two. This. <laughs> Please, it just please, can't hit five. Please. Is there? Is there? How many fives are on that thing? I don't know. Okay, we'll find out after. One. Okay, Perfect. Three. Perfect. Okay, good. Okay. So the same difference, really. In the end, same difference. Had you spent it all? Yeah. Great. So I spent all that energy and I defeat. And Senor. Roku Rokubi. Rok Roku Roku Rokubi. Yes. Uh, so I get three upgrades. We get we get three upgrades as a team. Yes. Oh yeah, we. Sorry. So starting with me, because I have this tile, yeah. I get one, one Naveen two, gets one, three. I get the third, and because I, I took the last upgrade, this token now gets to passed to okay. Naveen. So you get to go up two. So I get two. Where goes it you? I'm going to move my blue one up twice, so I can have that plus one attack strength and an extra energy. Okay, so I'm, now I have two base attack strengths for blue. So I'm going to move up my weakness right here, so I can change an additional die. So uh, we haven't really talked about my special ability of weakness, but... Um, I can use weakness whenever I attack. Before rolling, I can temporarily change a die. So just kind of like in the example of your spiked club, mm -hmm. how you turned a yellow into a white, I can I can spend two energy mm -hmm. to change two dice oh, okay. down. So I could have done that 
spent two energy to turn those two yellows into two whites, oh. and then and then rolled, and then I can chain that with my reroll action. That's True. Here. So as I improve, it gets easier and easier. So I guess your base ability allows you to change one die tempor temporarily, but because you hit <laughs> right. this threshold, it I can now change a second die additional. But right. it's all temporary. It's if all you temporary. don't defeat, it's a one time. That for that yokai It's a one turn. time that time. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. All right, so that's that. And it cost me only two energy versus base three energy. Ah, uh, because yeah. you have so I got a little discount. Yeah, a little discount. So our characters are getting uh, stronger. A little stronger, yeah. As the game progresses, okay. which is nice. So this. So I have one energy left. I mean, this thing is um, naked here. This would be nice to, to take this if we could. We're not going to be able to. No. Do that now, so I might as well move to a location. What are you going to do in your turn? Are uh, you going to? You know, I like... was thinking about green yokai attack. Do this thing and just try to hope for the best. Um... Okay. <laughs> so then I'm going to move there. Okay. Oh, okay. Because yeah. that was my turn, right? Yes. So I'm gonna move can there. Can move there. Yeah. So when you, if they attack, they're gonna attack me. Okay. Sure. And we don't take damage to the weave. Sure. So I'm ending my turn, and it is your turn, right? Yes. Yeah, so, so I'm gonna you wanna... do the four green yokai attack. Okay. One, two, three, four. And good luck to us. Okay. They roll the one. We don't have that symbol there. No symbol. So, so no hits. Day. No wounds. Okay. So uh, there's no wound there. So you have four energy. I have one. <laughs> yeah. We don't have enough hmm. to make ten. I feel so bad just leaving the site right here. But, yeah, you have no choice. <laughs> it must be done. You know, I, oh, gosh. So, we only have two areas here now. I, I could go here. The problem is, once I'm here, I'm stuck because of this person's ongoing uh, ability. Mm -hmm. Characters must pay two additional energy just to leave that location. So, I'd be kind of, kind of... Pl like planted there. Um, what I could do is I could go here and not spend any energy. Or I can go here and spend the two energy to move down and turn these into two white die. And, and then try it. to defeat it. But it, that's a tough, but that's, that's a tough, because it only gives me two. Six. I so would... I could just go here just to play turtle and just hang out here and not try to attack. Why um, don't you um, go to the shopping district first, get okay. an item, and then go back there. Because I have a free move. That's oh, right. Yeah, you have okay. a move. Perfect, so I will go here. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna heal. I think I'm just gonna... Yeah, that's fine. I'm you only have I'm, one Yeah, wound. I have one wound. So I'll pay one energy. Okay. And I'll just take whatever I get. What is it? Strawberry milk. Oh, uh, Okay, strawberry milk is cool. Uh, discard immediately, and you remove up to three wounds, three wounds from any one character. Oh, so, that's awesome. So if I take more wounds, I am, well, I'm welcoming these two wounds so I can use my strawberry milk. So I read a little bit of the comic. <laughs> okay. I think I read like one or two issues or something, and strawberry <coughs> milk... Is like a milk drink that I think my character likes. Oh, is that right? Yeah, it's really cute. Maybe I'll give it to you later. She likes strawberry milk. Maybe. Okay. Um, so, and then I'm, I'm going to use my subway pass to hightail it out of the shopping district. Okay. And I'm going to plant myself in, in Meki. Meki, I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce that. Meki? Number four. Number four. The yellow zone. Okay. Okay. And you're just going to... And I'm, just, I'm not going to... Yeah, I'm not going to spend anything. I, I want to keep these so I can try to defeat these guys. Okay. So, um, my turn... I can spawn Luke Yokai for five, which would still put us one short of. Yes. Well, it doesn't matter because you're in Mickey, so I couldn't right. even. Yeah, you can. Oh, what a shame! Because we can exchange. We can exchange. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Energy. So it's... that actually, that's good, because I that means I can try to defeat some of these really terrible ones. Mm -hmm. Right? Should I spawn? Should I take this? You want to spawn a blue Yokai? I yeah. can. Should I do it? Sure. Okay. So it gets you five. Spawn on blue yokai. I get five, which means we're at six. six. Okay. And then Let's see where this yokai is going to go. Yokai is going to go to number four, right where I'm at. So it's it actually going to cover up. So now I have the ability to move out of there. Uh, so Kitsune. Uh, on is, tile refresh? Yeah, on tile refresh. Each character at this location loses two energy. Okay, so I basically need to not be here. Oh, that's not good. Uh huh. Um, but it's pretty weak to beat. Should I go there and try to. Should I go there and try to defeat some of those people? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we, can, we can just get like a ton of upgrades. We could. Let's Which is very important see. right now. I think that, that'd be good. The right sad now, thing this is, is this is wide open. I feel like that's going to spawn more. What's, what does Akan Akaname? Akaname is at this location. You cannot refresh until all those tiles are faced down, which is fine. I'm Maybe okay with that. Maybe we can try to defeat both of these blue. Because I have a base blue attack strength of two. Plus you can turn your spiked uh, down. Right. So this is going to be a maximum of 5, 10, 15. If we turn one of them to white, because of my spike club, then it's 13. Minus the I 2 have, extra, so 11. So 11. I have 6 
You have three. Yeah, you can take my three. I could. Because of this round, we're allowed to... I can give it to you. Although I would probably go to eight and try to re-roll. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Are we... Are we crazy? No, it gives us a bunch of upgrades, which is nice. Um, but should I try to attack both, us... or just do one? Well, you're allowed to attack one and then make a decision if you want to attack the next one, right? No. Oh, you have, you have to, to declare pro- all declare attacks. All... Well, yes, that is true. You can attack one, you resolve the whole attack, and then you can attack again. Right. But you would have to re-wager. Correct. Yeah, you can reassess. So, you, 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 but it's... I guess it's more efficient to attack multiple of the yokai in one attack because you're wagering and you're re-rolling and kind of seeing the... Okay. You know what I mean? Mathematically, it works out better. Sure, yeah. So what do you think I should do? I think you should go with it. Attack both at the same time? Yeah, why, why don't we... Yeah. All right, let's make yeah. things interesting. Okay, so you're going to come let's over here. Let's move over there. Now, who um, do you want to who do you want to lower? I I think Kitsune Roku Roku Rokubi. Okay, yeah, I think that's a good. One. So you're using so, your spiked club. I'm using my spiked club on this. So these are the two that I'm attacking. These two blue yokai. Right. I'm gonna use my spiked club on this one. So I do one yellow and one white. So let's okay. roll those first. Oh, actually, I have to declare my attack strength. Right. So I have attack strength of two, two. right now. So the way that, that um, this character's upgrades work is as long as there's at least one of the blue yokai in that battle, mm-hmm. I get plus two. Oh, I see, yeah. Um, so if I actually included a third yokai in this battle, which is green, then I would add the additional another two, two. Another two. Which... That's actually not bad. Eh. <laughs> uh, now we're pushing it. Now we're pushing I it. I mean, also, what I could do is I could attack a green and a blue. Okay. Instead of two blue. Because then that would give me a base attack strength of yeah, four. Yeah, you know what? I actually, That's actually like that. way better. Yeah, let's do that. So now I have a base attack strength so of four. So maybe the two middle ones? Yeah, the two middle ones for yeah. sure. Because they... So yeah. this is going to go down, right? Because you're using your spiked club to turn this yellow into a white. Right. So now so you're... So it's going to be eight. So a maximum of 11. <laughs> and I have a base attack strength of four. Okay. So... Sh- okay, so, I, so how much did I wager? Four? Just have yeah. a, a eight? Eight total, yeah. Okay, so one, two, three, plus, four. So my attack strength is eight. Okay. If I need to, I can re- <coughs> I can spend a uh, one to re-roll a die. Right. I think I can do that as many times yes, as long can. as I spend it. As long as you have it. Okay. So who are you attacking first? Um, Roku, Rokubi. Okay, let's do it. So you can just uh, roll both of them at the once. But I'm still using my spike club to, yes. to lower That's why yellow is now white. So, to be clear, it's these two. Yeah, the two that are sticking out. Yep. Okay. Green and blue. Ready? Good luck. Good luck. All nice. right, perfect. So two and a one. Two and a one. I think you're going to keep those there yep, for right now. Yeah, keep those, and perfect. I'm going to roll the one white die for a. Uh, and no matter what, you're good. Yeah, no matter what, I'm good. Three so doesn't matter. Three. Yeah, so, that, so it's three, five, three six. Six. You six eight. to my eight, so I win. Perfect. So these two get defeated. So we have a total of three, four, five. So I get one, five two, upgrades. three, four, five. So I get three, and you get two. And yeah. I'm going to hand you this. So these go. This, yep. This card. So this goes to me. Because basically Naveen so, gets so you go three upgrades, get I get three. two upgrades. Okay, so let me go and this character still stays on top of the stack. Two. So I get two, you said, right? Three. Yeah. I'm going to go with two here. One, two. So nice. this gives me an additional two energy, and I have one more attack strength for blue. So now nice. I have a base of three. three. Perfect. So I have four <coughs> energy here. Oh, if only we had one more. I know. Well, I'm at five right now. So I... um. On your turn. On my turn, I'll probably take it and then go and then. Okay, where do you want to defeat? Oh, here. Let's go yes. to make. Okay, I'm gonna move to to. Yeah, you have a free move, move, right? Yeah, my free move. I'm gonna move there so that I'm in position so that if Naveen wants to take a tile, then head over there and defeat that proxy token. We can. Yes. Or actually. We don't have to be oh, in no, the I same can. area. But. Oh yeah, we don't. I don't have to be there. It, it's nice to not be here because this is on the tile refresh, which is coming soon. Uh, we would lose two energy if we were there, so we don't want to be there. We kind of want to bail from number four. Okay, what about number two? Uh, number two's okay. Okay, I'm going to move to number two instead, because okay. I don't have to be here for Naveen to defeat this. Sure. And if these people attack, I, I'm yeah. going to want to take them as well. Right. So, uh, no matter what, I have to take a, a spawn green yokai, so I'm going to take three. One, two, three. So I have now eight total Oh, spawn energy. green yokai. Doesn't matter which okay. one, they're both the same. Okay. So, go ahead and so spawn we one. just basically don't want this to spawn at three. Oh, please. Five. Okay, so because it's at five and this has been blocked out, it rotates and goes down to one. So it goes to the is... higher, the next higher. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Because there's nothing higher than five, it's like a revolving door. So it goes to one, one is blocked out, so it goes to two. And it's on top. And now it's one revealed. 
flip one face up counter token tile face down. Uh -huh. So this is gonna get flipped. It goes face bye bye. Down. Yeah. So on my right. turn, we're gonna have to refresh. Which is fine. So I am not gonna attack here. I think I'm just gonna go straight here. Mm hmm. Okay. And you know, I'm gonna spend all of my eight and take two from you. Okay. Because it's gonna be your turn. I'd rather you have some energy to use. How because generous. this is gonna change. That's we're not true. Not gonna be able to freely exchange. So there's the ten. Flip that over. Flip one. Flip one face up counter action tile face down. They're all face down so already. So this so was actually a negative one. Yeah. That we got to okay. That perfect. We got to. <laughs> we got to avoid. Avoid. Perfect. So awesome. two more proxy tokens to go. Okay. Until the end of the scenario. Awesome. Uh, and that's that's it. Okay. That's it for that one. Okay, so my turn. Yeah, you gotta I, flip those cards over. I think. Refresh. Oh yeah, I'm going to do a forest refresh tile. Oh yep. boy. You got it. All right, so let's refresh these tiles. Um, do any of the yokai abilities activate on refresh? Yeah, uh, this one right here, but it, it, it's a non-problem because only if we're at this location would we lose two energy. Nobody's there. We kind of hightailed it out knowing that that was going to be the issue there. Awesome. Do we okay. really only have one? Yeah, yeah. We, well, we'll see what happens now because these yokai here are going to attack, which is uh, quite a bit of dice. That so, is a lot of dice. A lot of dice. Like... And so the spike club doesn't work here. Uh, we, we can't manipulate the dice here. Two yellow, the only two way black. We can do it is by rolling three white. So, All right. So two yellow, two black, three white. Okay. So we want to see as little symbols as possible. A few symbols. A single one. One. Wow. Wow. One. We got really lucky there. Yeah. So because I'm in that location, I'm going to take it as a wound. Sure. So now we got. Wow, that was really lucky. Wow. So we are getting closer to needing your strawberry milk. Looks like. <laughs> yeah. Um, so the strawberry milk <laughs> yeah, I'll wait till you get one more. So for clarification though, I think for the strawberry milk, we still have to be in the same location. Yeah, or I can use it on myself. You can or use it either on yourself mm -hmm. or on me, but I need to be in the location. Yeah, we have to be together. But, okay, and then before I take my actual turn, we must draw a new event. Oh yeah, 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 I yeah. forgot about that. Bye bye energy flow, that was That nice. was good, that was nice, yeah. You served us well. Us. It did. Okay, double down, immediate. Draw the next two event cards and put them into play. On the next tile refresh, discard both. Okay, so we're gonna have two event cards in play. Hopefully they're two good things. I mean, yeah, I think that's nice is not They all could be good, they could be bad. bad. Ready? Event one. Until the next tile refresh, all yokai grant one less upgrade point when defeated. Okay. That's not cool. Mm. And then yokai ambush. On, oh, no, on tile refresh, the location with the second highest yokai power also attacks the weave. Oh boy, so okay. I would like to just defeat these two locations before the next tile refresh. How does sure. that sound? You like that? I do. Okay. So, my turn. What should I do here? Let's let's do one of the yokai attack. Let's do <laughs> sure. the blue yokai attack. Okay. This takes six. How many? Oh, you only you have zero. Because what I could do is I can take all of the... What can I do here? I can take all six energy, um, go to the shop, get an item, and then land myself... Oh, they need to mm. be empty. Oh, this needs to get out of here. I just realized that we have all those yokai. Yeah. Do, you, so do we, we want to hammer this. out four before we deal with location two? Yes. That would be kind of nice, right? That is nice. So this, you know, this person right here goes from a yellow to a white with your spiked club. That's kind of nice. So that'll be a maximum of nine. Three, and because nine. it's a green and a blue, I'll have a base attack strength of one, two, three, four, five. Oh, do it. Okay, so which one of these should I take? I think blue yokai attack. That's okay. fine. Let's do blue yokai Let's have this person attack. attack the weave. So I get six. Let's have this person attack the weave. Why? Unless you want, unless you're willing to take. Yeah, you actually, you know what? Yeah. I always move for zero. Well, I was going to say the weave is, is pretty good, but I have the strawberry milk, so maybe we should attack you, just so that we can maximize the strawberry milk. Okay, so I'm going to have this the blue yokai here attack, yeah, two, so two yellow two dice. Yellow. Good luck. Thank you. Ah, two perfect. Ones. Okay, we're rolling pretty good. We're too. rolling really that's, well, yeah, so that's no, not bad. no wounds no here. No wounds there, yeah, perfect. Uh, and so I'm going to move to Mickey, and mm -hmm. I'm going to try to defeat both of them. Okay. So, so your spy club is going to turn Kitsune's yellow into a white. Into a white. Okay. So I'm going to do three of them. Okay, so now you have to sign dice one by one. I'm going to sign dice one by one because right. I do have a... I do have a re-roll. Right. Which I can do, and I'm attacking both. Well, how, so so what's blue. your base strength here for blue? Uh, one, two, three for blue, okay. and two more for green. So it's a total of five. You have five strength, okay. And then I 
how much of this should I spend? It's three, six, nine. I should just not spend any. Yeah. And just wager a five against a nine, right? Because I can reroll. I can spend yeah. one to reroll. So my only thing is we, we probably shouldn't be putting these out like this because technically these attack points are reserved for the green. No, it's for total. Oh, for total. Yeah. Oh, is that right? Yeah. So as long as... As long as there's one green yokai oh, in the battle... Oh, that is cool. I yeah, ju it, that I just can, clicked for me right now. Yeah, then I can apply it to the battle. Because when you, when you battle, it. you're battling yeah, all, all of them, them at once. once. Okay. The only thing that matters is when you, if you choose to re-roll, you're re-rolling specific for die. that one die. A specific die for a specific you yokai. Declare. That's why you need to roll them separately for That's each That's what you told me. And I was like, uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. I get it. <laughs> I, get, I didn't get it. Yeah, okay. she she is a good a uh, good little upgrade. Yeah, I like here. that. Okay, so, so because there's a green in there, you can apply the green to my upgrade. attack strength. Because there's a blue in there, I can apply. It's just what? Oh, it's a, nice. It's a total upgrade. Yes, very number. good. Uh, okay, so I'm not gonna wager anything. I'm just okay. gonna go with five. Five with, with no wager. Five. Okay. I'm gonna keep these. I like it. This energy. Good luck. So I'm gonna roll um, for Oni first. So these okay. two are for Oni. Sure. Here we go. Good, good stuff. Okay, okay three, so three and zero. Three and zero. So That's good. Tony. And so, then this is white because I use my spike club. Yes. For Kitsune. So basically don't roll a three. Okay. Two. Two. Perfect. Perfect. Five is five. Five, five, five is five. Is five. There we go. That is math right there. That's oh. math. So, okay. Uh, I didn't know this game was going to be so math. <laughs> okay. Very so good. because we have this event, yeah, um, all yokai grant one less upgrade point when defeated. Oh. So it's so a total one and of one. one and one. So two total. So one for you, one for me. Okay. Starting with me. Well, I like what you've done there. That was good. I'm going to... I'm going to go up on go this track. track so I can get two more energy. One, I'm going to go two. up on this track and I just get one energy. You know, I have ten energy right now. Oh, ping it. Let's do it. I'm going to ping it. <laughs> ping it. Pinging it in location ping. number four. So I'm going to spend them all. All ten. All ten. This is part of our to uh, task. To flip this flip proxy it. token. Oh. And it says flip two face down counter token <laughs> action tiles. Well, face you can do up. one, so that one. All right. That's that. So I'm going to move. There. there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Oh, I'm so sorry, Rory. And that is it. We only need one more to go. Yeah. So let's try. I don't think I should spawn a blue yokai. I oh, think we're that's doing really just... well here. Yeah. Uh, green yokai attack? Uh, Sure. Or you can. You can do the blue yokai attack. I'm okay with that. We're, we have so much room to unravel this weave. Okay, let's do it. Blue yokai attack for six. That could be one, two, three, four, six. So I'm at seven now. And I'm going to be moving. Okay. Well, actually, let's let's attack. No, no, you can't. Yeah, you can't move <laughs> yeah, yet. Yeah, let's attack first. Are yeah. you, were you here? I was there, yes. By Meguro. Uh, yeah, good. I yeah, think I did that. That's what before. you were for, yeah. So we're going to have the blue I'm yokai attack. Myself. All right, you're going to take these damage. No damage. No damage. That's nice. Wow. We are getting no sense. I know. Normally I'm terrible at rolling. Okay. Perfect. So now I'm going to come into here and I'm not going to give you the milk yet. You don't have to, but what you can do is you can use your Molotov cocktail. I, I am going to do that. Yeah. So um, good call. So I'm going to choose up to five yokai at this location and I'm going to permanently change one die on each. So I'm going to permanently change this yellow to a white and this um, black to a yellow. So we have these little... Chits, chits here. To show that. that okay. can show so that. If you buy Molotov, you were great. And this goes okay. to a yes. yellow. That is very good. Yeah. And now I have seven. So do you want me to... So this, the max this is as a five, six, seven, eight. Plus I have all these re-rolls. I have two re-rolls and I, I can change the... You know, I can change... Maybe I should just only attack the blue. Uh, um, okay. I have seven, but I have two rerolls here. Okay, and the blue is going to be a max... It's going to be a Eight. minimum of three? No, one. Okay, minimum of one. Yeah, minimum of one. Maximum of eight? Yeah, one to eight. Um, you have three rerolls? I feel like you should attack I have two rerolls. Oh, two rerolls. Mm -hmm. Why don't you attack... A, a, this one and blue? Akaname, yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm good with that. Okay, so what, what are we going to be spending here? All seven? Uh, it's going to be a maximum of... 8, 9, 10, 11. Sure. Also. I mean, I think, I, think, I think that's a little bit excessive, but... 
Should I we're, spend six? Nah, just spend it. We're close. <laughs> we're getting close. Yeah, we are getting close. I, I'd like to just try to... Like I said, we have a lot of room As much here. as I can, guarantee. Okay, let's go ahead and take that right there. Okay. And so you're doing... Let's, can you point out the ones that yeah, you're doing? Yeah, so I'm going to be doing uh, blue and this green. So this is going to be the ones that kind of wing out. Okay. All so right. what are the dice combinations? Uh, two white and one yellow. So let's assign these first. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and roll up for the blue guy. Okay. Two and two. Okay, so that's not bad. Yeah. I think I defeat no matter what, because if I roll a three here, we're good. Yeah. Zero. Okay. Perfect. I think it was a little bit excessive, yeah. but it's fine. That's good. No, I like that. Okay, so, so you, you spend... Oh, bye-bye, oh, bye, Rory. Bye, Rory. No. So you spent all seven? I spent all seven. There okay. you go, bye-bye. And then... And now this one goes out, and this one goes out. So we so. still preserve the order of the stack. Yep, this little chit. Oops. Go there. And there are actually cards that let you reorder the stack, just, mm -hmm. just an FYI. So uh, this is going to only get me two. It says three on the card, but because of the, yeah. the scenario that we have, this, this is says two, two, so this one. is so three. One. So three total. So you get two, I get one. So starting one, with me, two, one, three. two, three, and this yep. gets passed to you. Perfect. So I get two. You get two, I get one. Hmm. Oh, we'll go ahead and go. Because it's only a green and a red so left, I'm going to go one. To increase my attack strength on green and then one. Oh yeah, for sure. Here. So I get one energy. Okay. So I went up just one energy. Okay. Uh, are you done with your turn? Yeah, that was it. So I can... Let's see, blue yokai attack is done. By the way, if you cannot do the tile, then you can't... You can't perform yeah, it. Yeah, the action can't happen. Like there, there are no green yokai. You cannot do the green yokai I think attack. green yokai attack would be a good one right now. I don't think we want to spawn anything right now, right? Right. So I'm going to do, yeah, because if we spawn, they're only going to spawn to that location. Right. So let's do green yokai attack. So it gets you four. So it's going to hit me four energy, so it should bump me up to five. Okay, I have um, one. Hmm? I have one. Okay, so... So you can two... use spiked club. Well, let's let this green yokai attack first. Oh, yeah. So two white dice. Zero, no zero. Wolves. Wow, no wow. Wolves. This wow. is <laughs> kind of a crazy <laughs> game right now. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, so I have a... Total of five. I have a base strength, if I attack them both, of one, two, three, four. And then, so that's a total of nine. What are we looking at here? Well, you can use your spike club to turn this black into a yellow. True. It'll be five, ten, ten, sixteen. Sixteen to my nine. <laughs> that's not very... Could you just attack the red? Dude? I can just attack the red. Do you get the benefit of the green? No. Oh, okay. So I would only have a plus one strength. But I can turn that into a yellow, so I'd be doing ten. five, so six, six to, your ten. to my ten. Oh, mm. those are kind of... I think we've been rolling a little too good. Those are kind of stinky odds. Hmm, you could just retain that and just not attack. Yeah. And then I can do a green yokai attack on my turn. What happens if you reveal the red one? That's a, that's a bad one, right? Yeah, I think it is. Uh... Characters receive one wound whenever they attack yokai at this location. Oh yeah, that's not cool. Or adjacent location, but the adjacent locations are cleaned out. So. Okay, so I'm gonna just hold on to it. <laughs> or should I go? Should I get an item? Because mm. I could leave and come back. What's your wounds that situation? Okay. I have two wounds. You wanna go get an item? Maybe. It might be helpful. Sure. Like if I get another one of those fizzy things. Yeah, just things. go for one. Okay, so I move it's here your for one free. free move. I'm going to spend one energy. To just, just take whatever take one it is. item. Another spiked club. Another can, spiked can you, club. You, can, uh, you can give that I'm, to me. Yeah, I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to go back. I'll take I'm it. I'm going to give it to you. I said that as if I was disappointed, but really yeah. the spiked club Another is awesome. Another spiked club. <laughs> Another know. one. This is perfect, because this will go perfectly with my ability here. Mm -hmm. So. I, I'm going to end my turn. I think I'm going to do a green yokai attack. Again, four. For four? Yeah. Okay. So one, two, three, four. That gives me five. So... Let's have your Take green this. yokai attack. So your two white dice. Nothing. Okay, nothing. Two and one. No, nothing. Perfect. That's a generally safe yeah, attack. That was a, yeah, that's a good counter. Attack. It seems like. Okay. Well, um, I had a plan. What was it? Oh yes, spike club. So spike club can turn this into a yellow. That gives me two yellow. Okay. So oh, so you're gonna attack red? I, well, I'm thinking about it. Two yellow, and then I can use. Um, well, let's think about it, because if you spend your two on using your weakness ability, yep. that lets you change two dice. 
So you can turn the both. Oh, that's you can right. turn. You can use your spike club to turn the black die into a yellow, and, and then, then spend to turn those two, two yellows energy into to two turn whites. To two two whites, and then you'll have fifty fifty. But you also have how many rerolls? I have a ton of rerolls. Two rerolls. Let's do it. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. Let's all push some buttons. Then. So, okay, so I'm gonna use my spike club to turn this black into a yellow. Okay. So, so you're, who are you battling? The red. The red only. I'm gonna go for right? the red. Yeah. So let's separate that. Yes. So red only. So now you're <laughs> going to do two yellow because you used your spike red, club spike on the black. Spike club is being used. Now okay. I'm gonna use weakness, which costs me three energy, but because I have a discount of one cost by my ability, it's gonna cost me two energy. I can then change two die down to the next lower one. And so it's on the same, the same, yeah. Change one die. Black, yeah. yellow, yellow, white. Yep. So, so these two yellows are now going to become two whites. So now you have a maximum of six, potentially, okay. against you. But you also have a bunch of re-rolls. I have things. two re-rolls, so... So spend all three of your energy, right? Correct. I'm going to spend one, two, three, all of it. So I have only three. One, two, three. And then I'm going to roll both at once, and then from there I'll re-roll. Okay. I need two. Two, two. <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay. All right. So we'll, we'll reserve... Yeah, okay. So I'm going to re-roll one. Okay. So here's my first re-roll. Ah! That's a five. That's no <laughs> good. Good luck. I need to roll... I have a 50-50 shot here, right? So I have this one zero one one. No, actually, there's a one and three shot here. Oh, we didn't think about that. That's okay. Okay. We got oh, it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So three is three. Okay. That's that math we're talking about here. So that goes there. Yes. We have defeated Senor Red, Red Yokai. Red Yokai is, is gone. Wow. The one-eyed priest. So, so the Red Yokai gives us five minus the one minus because the of one. the thing. So, so four upgrades. Four. So two for you, two for me. Uh, so all right. So we'll go one, two, three, four. So at this point, I probably want to get two for me. Yeah. Did you oh, give I, yourself four? Yeah, I don't know what I was doing. There we go, two. Okay. So... I'm going to go up one here, which gives me plus two. And then I could either take another energy or just get another tech strength on green, mm -hmm. which doesn't really, well. Well, we're not, well, we are going to spawn a green yokai. I guess yokai. it's the same. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Plus one attack strength. Yeah, I think you're going to want to spawn a green yokai here. So you're done with your turn? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to spawn a green yokai. So I, I get so. three energy. So I'm going to go up to nine. Okay, and green then... yokai, no matter what, is going to go to section two. Okay, so this is on tile refresh. We'll be unraveling the weave. So if we get to that point, if we get to that point, so well, let's try to smash up these guys. Smash those people okay. or those you okay? So I have a base attack strength of one, two, three, four, and it looks like they are. Um, yeah, they're pretty much the same. So they are, but the thing is, I can't use my spike club because they're already at the lowest die color. Nope. Darn. Should I attack <laughs> them? One at a time. Do you get the, the four base for each one, one at a time? Yeah, I think so. Right? When attacking green yokai. I guess that makes sense. We should just attack both of them. Yeah, let's do it individually, right? Yeah. So let's start with Oni, right? Sure. Because... Because that's when revealed. Because if I... If I attack this one first, it's going to reveal, reveal Oni, that one, yeah, which, which is going to speed activate it. that ability, which yeah. is not good. So let's do Oni first. Okay, Oni's the one that's covered up. It's Oni. The backside. So two white dice. Um, I have a base. Base of four. Of four, and it's should I just do four? Yeah, just do four. Let's and do you four. Have, yeah. Because that way you can re I can reroll. Let's go. <laughs> okay, Six. so that's really bad. Six. Worst case scenario. Okay, so. So let's spend. I can either spend three and just cancel the attack. No, I think you should spend one to reroll because now you can you can roll a one or a zero here. Let's go. Let's do it. Spend you one. want a one or a zero? A three. I'm gonna spend another one. Yeah, just keep doing it. To reroll <laughs> it again. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh. I, three. I should have just spent. <laughs> I'm panicking. Two. Okay, so that's a two. Um, I can reroll that one then. Yeah, I would reroll this one then. Yeah. Oh man! Wow. I spent so much energy doing this. <laughs> Okay, two. that's it. Four. Yeah, you're good at four. Okay, so Oni goes bye-bye, and this is only one upgrade. A singular upgrade because of the thing. So Which you me, get. And then so I get the pass. Okay, discard that. Thank you. So this goes to me, and you get your one upgrade. What are you going to do? Take energy. energy. Okay. So I'm going to now try to attack that one. 
Yeah, so you get a four base for attacking this green. And okay. you have five. Boy. Alright. Same thing. I, I say you just go for it again. Go for it again. Yeah, try not to spend anything. Keep your five. Alright. Good luck. Let's go. Oh! Oh my gosh. <laughs> this makes up for all the, the nice rolls we had. Alright, uh, so one. here's one energy. I'm gonna re-roll this one. Sure. Zero or zero one. one. Zero or one. Done with zero this or roll. One. Zero. Perfect. Okay, good. Okay, so we defeated that one. The yukai, and I get my one of it. And then I get that thing. I'm gonna go up on this so it gives me oh, two energy. Two is one, perfect. Two. So I have six energy. I have one. Okay. I have eight. Oh no, and... I'm gonna spawn. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> uh oh. Shall we spawn a green? So I'm gonna end my turn. And you would like to spawn a green? Alright. Yeah. Or, yeah. Well, no, let's spawn a blue. Okay. Let's it gives spawn you a more blue energy. Because, yeah, it gives me more energy and I have my spiked club, which I can lower the... So it gives me five, so I'm up to six now. Two yellow. On tile refresh. If a character is alone at this location, we'll never be alone. Okay. We're together. Never alone. Never alone. Okay. We're hanging out. So you're going to attack that one? Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna use my spiked club, which is gonna turn this yellow into a white. White die, there you go. Okay. And then I can spend... What are you gonna spend? I can spend two to turn... Is it worth it though? It's probably not worth it. Not really. So mathematically, like... Gosh. You're spending so... two energy, it's only a difference of two energy anyway. Right? Yeah. <coughs> okay. I kind of want to retain one energy here. Okay. Because you have six. This spawn green yokai is going to be three. And I'm assuming with your base ability to, to beat green yokai, you might be able to do it without spending anything. Hopefully. So I think I'm going to spend five. Okay. So because the worst case scenario with a f is five and three here, and I have a bunch of rerolls. Okay. So I'm going to spend five. So the beam has one energy left. One energy left. You have a, you're gonna you have attack strength of five. You said right. Five. Yeah. All right. Good luck. Four. Four. Okay. Perfect. So this yokai. So this guy goes. This yokai goes bye bye. So we both get one because it's a three, minus the one. One so and two. One. There it is. All right. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna get uh, energy. You are. Oh yeah, energy is important because we can. Once you defeat that, we can. I know, but I was thinking. You should. Probably get energy, right? Maybe I'll just do a green attack strength. The major. Because I'm gonna get nine. Okay. I'm gonna have nine total. I'm gonna and increase my attack strength okay. to the very max. So okay. are you done with your yeah. turn? So we're gonna spawn a green yokai. My turn. Unfortunately, we couldn't defeat that last proxy token. We're one. Oh no, we're too short. Too short. We could have yeah. been one short, but we're too short. Yeah, that's okay. So let's spawn the green yokai. And I'm going to three. increase my energy by three. Okay, this is uh, Bakaneko. 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 And it's a one white, one yellow. When revealed, choose a one character. <laughs> that character loses two energy or receives two wounds. I'll take two wounds. Yes. <laughs> and hey, I have strawberry milk. But it's not your turn. On my turn, I will drink my strawberry milk. I can milk. actually take it from you. and then. But there's really no point in yeah. healing right now. Okay. So, um, now that we've done that, I'm okay. going to try to defeat that green. Okay. Let's do it. I'm going to use my spike club to so, turn the yellow die into a white one. To a white. To two white. And then I have a base of one, two, three, four, five. So let's go five, and I'm just gonna try to do it. Because six is the worst case scenario. Worst case scenario. Yeah, yeah. I think this is gonna be good. Good luck. Wow. Zero one. Wow, it's better than the three three. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. So, so we back in Oko defeated by back in Oko, and we get what upgrades? Three of them. So three it's really so two. Two. So I'm just gonna go one here. Get another energy. What do I get? Doesn't this really one? matter. The Doesn't game is matter. about to end. Okay, we'll just do that. And then together. We're going to spend. I think you, you want to spend two of your I think energy. You should spend your time. You sure, but yeah, it's a co-op game. Okay, fine. I'll spend two. two energy. I'm going to spend eight. Nice. To defeat the last proxy token. Okay. Each character receives two upgrade points. Okay, perfect. Okay. Nice. Good Yay! Stuff. We did it. Done. We've saved Japan with only one ravel. Un what is it called? Weave unravel. Yeah. That's actually wow. That was. That's insane. So I was not expecting that. We, we had some really good rolls there. We had some really good rolls, but yeah. we, we, we didn't go through the rest of it. But um, if we if the weave ever got unraveled to the yellow zone, all of the action counter tiles that have only this white um, rectangle, yeah, they, get plucked off. they go away, actually. And then some of the 
the other yeah. tiles that have yellow on them will come on. And so they will make the red yokai attack. Right. Or like they'll make you spawn red yokai. Right. As soon as you get to the black area here, then the first thing that happens is you are now no longer able to go yeah. to the shopping can't district. Go there, you cannot can't heal. heal, you cannot shop for items. Right. Even if you um if you if you repair the weave, because his character allows you to repair the yeah, weave, which, which we is also use, something yeah. we didn't use, mm -hmm. then you you still can't go to the shopping district. Right. That's like gone forever. And all of the um, <coughs> tokens that don't have a, a black rectangle on it go away, and, yeah. which is, I think it's just this. It's just that one, yeah. And then Tuchigomo comes on, which is the boss. And the bosses will come on to a location that has yeah. the most number of yokai, and then you're going to start having to battle the, the boss, which is really, really, really strong. So this is not something we encountered, but this is the threat of this scenario. Mm -hmm. um, another thing that we didn't really encounter is one of the actions that you can do on your turn as a kind of a move of desperation is you can unravel the weave to gain yes. more energy. Mm -hmm. So say the weave were like here and I have five energy left and I can, I can defeat that last, oh, which is actually maybe something we could have done. Mm -hmm. But if I, I can, I can end the game by um, defeating the last proxy token, I can unravel the weave by one and get the amount of energy shown Right. On wherever the next thing is. So this would give me five energy. Oh, you need five energy You're unraveling the weave further, but you instantly get the energy mm -hmm. to spend. Yep. So that was another option. But otherwise, that was the whole scenario. Yeah, very good. All right, so we just finished our two-player playthrough of Wayward. We uh, did. We were able to defeat the, the yokai and avoid the monster. We did. Yeah. We didn't even uh, get joined by our friend the dirt spider here. Yeah, it looks our, like a big our tick. Our boss dirt spider didn't... Uh, didn't show up. Yeah. yeah. A dust mite. Like a tick. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I think it's a spider. Yeah. So, uh, what did you think? Yeah, good experience. Um, theme, what would you say? Uh, theme and compl- I guess yeah, that's a good place yeah, to theme start, Yeah, theme and right? great um, I really enjoy this theme. I will say, though, that I, I am a comic book fan. I yep. actually read a lot of IDW yeah, comics. You are, yeah. Lock and Key is, like, my favorite. So, this mm -hmm. is an image, a comic by image. Um, so I haven't actually read this, but when I first saw the game, I decided to go read a few issues because it seemed really interesting. Yeah, it definitely drew me into to wanting to know more about Wayward the comic. Yeah. For sure. So yeah. I, I read a little bit of it, and it's super thematic. Like the characters yeah. in the game uh, mirror the characters in in the book. The items. The items. Yeah, yeah the strawberry milk. Strawberry, the strawberry milk, milk is, is in there, there. Yeah. so it's pretty consistent, yeah. which I think is really fun yeah. to see in the board game. Yeah, playing the game makes me really want to go and catch up on all these comics and like and, yeah. and get to know more about the story and everything. Right. Like so for that reason alone, yeah. I I honestly think that um, people who like the comic book are going to like this game. Yeah, for sure. For people who like comic books and mangas, mm -hmm. you'll probably like this game. Yeah. Um it's so rich in that sense. Absolutely. Um what what yeah, so you you feel the same, same way? Same way. Totally, yeah. Uh component-wise, I think the components are awesome. Yeah, like they're the great. okay. Yeah. The art the, is amazing. Character sheets come in these yeah, little that is like cool. uh, packs, and then the back of the actual character sheet is a, like yeah. a nice full illustration of the character. So if you're familiar with comics, this is comics come packaged like literally this. how comics so come packaged. So immediately when I pulled it, I was like, "Wow, yeah. this the is a nostalgic awesome. feeling." Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, and then it kind of <laughs> we have a little description of the character as the character is, is described or yeah. like represented in the actual right, book. Right. So these are really yeah. cool. Yeah, um, cubes are cubes. I mean, it's, it's cool. Uh, they do think the, the dice are pretty awesome. The dice uh, are nice. They feel nice. The um, yeah, good quality. The yeah. Components are great, and then the the game comes with five different scenarios, and all the objectives are very yeah. different. Yeah. So each game is played differently, which and is, which for is me, cool. components when cards shuffle well. <laughs> it's a big deal for me. Sometimes like you a, get a new pack of cards and you can't bridge them, you can't shuffle them, yeah, and that's it's just true. it's just like why why not? Yeah. Like, <laughs> you know, so that is true. So these cards shuffle well for anybody who likes to shuffle, which is me. I like to shuffle. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. Um. So what about uh player count or like replayability? I guess that's <coughs> important. Yeah. So uh, the game comes with I believe five scenarios. We yes. played scenario one. Which was so, the easiest scenario. Um, so, you know, there's a lot of replayability here. Actually, the first time we played this... We got crushed. We got crushed. <laughs> we got destroyed. This dust mite, <laughs> big dust tick, mite big bad spider. guy, the spider, man, he, he killed us. Yeah. So, it just because us. we did really yeah. well in this playthrough <laughs> yeah. of it, doesn't mean anything. Yeah. This yeah. The, the first scenario can be quite difficult if yeah. you don't um, plan properly. Yeah, we, we normally don't play uh, too many of these, like, kind of defeat the bad guy, you know, yeah, with, with the uh, dice roll. Dice kind of defeat. So, so we didn't really know what we were doing. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, strategically, we were, we were struggling there. But as we got to understand the scenario more, 
Um, we understood kind of what you we understood, need to do. Yeah, what you need to do. And I think, you need items. Yes. Get them. Yeah. So that spiked club <laughs> and so really like, helped us out. And we were like, let's get some items. Yes. Um, yeah. But replayability wise, yes, the, the scenarios are all very different. Yeah. And they're, they're, they have different levels of difficulty. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So, which is nice because if you're playing with like, you know, your friend who's yeah. not really... Um, into games. Yeah, maybe or somebody like, who likes comics but has never really played too many games. Or somebody who's younger, perfect, yeah, or somebody younger. who's like an expert at this stuff. You can choose the level yeah. of difficulty yeah, and kind of go for it. Um, the player count is interesting. So mm -hmm. we played a two. It plays up to, I think, five? Five, I believe. There are yes. five characters. I believe so. Um, and play, I guess, player count wise, it's, it's supposed to scale pretty well yeah, because of the way. Up to five? Up to five, yeah. Okay, because of the way that you draw these um, action counters, yeah, it's. it's pretty much is fine. It's supposed to be the same, player count, depending on player count, right. but what we do feel is the difference is that at two, less of your characters are actually right. out on the board. Right. So when yokai go to attack, there's there's a higher chance that your character is not going to be there yeah. to take the wound. Right. So it's going to be attacking the weave more. Yeah, I we feel. did a pretty good job in our play uh, just now of funneling down the yokai to certain areas. Yeah. But, um, you know, sometimes it, it can work out where the yokai are more spread out. Right. And if you have two players only, you know, you can only block out two spots. Exactly, yeah, two locations. So. And I mean, in the scenario that we played, um, once you defeat a proxy token, yokai don't even spawn there anymore. Yes. So I'm yeah. thinking that that also made it a little bit easier for us right, to do right. that. Mm -hmm. um, so, but in general, it scales pretty well. Yeah, totally co ops. So. Yeah. so because we don't play these type of games too much, um, mechanically, what, what did you find interesting in the mechanics game? Mechanics wise. Yeah, mechanics wise. Um, I actually thought there were quite a few things in this mm -hmm. game that were really yeah, interesting. Yeah, totally. First of all, obviously, there's there's dice rolling. There's a lot of luck. There's a sure. lot of luck. We, yeah. we were we able to... We got very lucky. That was that was really, really lucky. Yes, we pretty much... We, we beat the game with only, like, it unraveled like, twice or something. <laughs> yeah, and then I was... And then this car, this tile, I was to go back a couple times. So. Right. So, yeah. dice rolling, there's luck. Yeah. Um, card flipping, also luck. But I thought that the individual mechanics were so interesting. Like, the way that you choose the counter... Action. Right? Yes. Yeah. You you can choose a uh, one that has more energy, but it's it's, it's a worse effect. A worse yeah scenario that you're unlocking there. Yeah. Right. Um, choosing when to refresh these counter tiles also really interesting because yeah. some of the yokai abilities or even the event. Yeah. Some cards, of the events. Yeah. Some of the events can be pretty pretty harsh. Yeah, and yeah. they'll trigger on refresh. So choosing kind of when to do that, um, how your character sheets upgrade. Mm -hmm. So the fact that you feel your character kind of getting stronger. Or yeah, getting... I definitely felt more confident in my character as the game progressed along. I was like, yeah, I'll take on that 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 yokai. Yeah, no like problem. You, yeah. you do feel like yeah. it's kind of like a engine engine. It is a little almost, bit, yeah. Right, so yeah. you do feel your character getting stronger yeah. and better. At the beginning, you're kind of timid. Ooh, I don't know. Maybe I should spend all my energy yeah. so that we don't get any trouble. And it's, then it's... at the end, I'm like, let's go. <laughs> yeah, we don't yeah. we don't have anything like we yeah. don't have anything to do yeah, to mitigate. Yeah. Um, even the way that the yokai cards come out, the different powers mm -hmm. on them is really interesting yes. because some of them happen on reveal, mm -hmm. which can which can trigger multiple times if you if you defeat yeah, bosses. Yeah, reveal, cover it up, and then reveal if you again. Uncover it, reveal yeah. again, and then that ability comes to effect again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or some of them are ongoing, etc. Um, I just thought that was really interesting. Yeah. What about you? Yeah, totally. Um, I, I think uh, it's cool how you can uh, how these different yokai can stack. So you can kind of see, oh, wait, we should fight the yokai that's tucked behind, so that way we don't have to deal with unlocking a different yokai that, that, that can like really hurt you in that scenario. So um, you're kind of putting out fires, which yeah. is really cool. Um, but strategically. Strategically, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Depending so, on the location. Yeah. I also think that the weave itself is really interesting, right? So the weave is like a really big part of this game. It's, yes. it's the point. It's yeah. the whole point. Um, it's a big part of the comic as well. But the way that the weave works, how when you get to the yellow zone, the counter action tiles change. Yeah, so you, you can get, get more energy, but then you're going to be facing harder things. So you, right. Yeah. So you guys didn't really see the red yokai too much, but they come out later. The red and yokai those guys are terrible. Are really powerful. They're really strong, yeah. and they're um, the bad parts of them are really <laughs> yeah, are really horrible. harsh. Yeah. Uh, and I think they probably uh, play a larger role in some of the harder. Yeah. The no. harder. Um, mm -hmm. Whatever they're called. Scenarios. 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 Yeah. <laughs> <The hard> scenarios. <laughs> um, I will say that the characters are not all equal. Like obviously they're asymmetric, but some of them are way more useful than the others. Yeah, I think like, at least in this scenario, for sure. For sure. Well, Ayane is really I awesome. Think, yeah, you're almost always gonna want somebody playing that character. Playing her, yeah, because she, she gives attack. you that base attack strength. Yeah, and you're and always you gonna be attacking. Her, 
yeah. in this game. Yeah. So yeah. always play with her. It's nice to to kind of play with Rory as well. Yeah, I get Rory's to actually really useful. Yeah, well, Rory you is the main character in the game or yeah. in, in the comics. In the so comics. it makes sense. Yeah. So playing with her is good. Some of the other characters allow you to um, do other things like. Nikaido allows you to move a yokai card or boss token, etc. Yeah, so let you do yeah. different things. But I, in general, I feel like these ones. I feel are like really these two characters that really we played with were like the superstars. But I think my favorite part of the game is the way that attacking works. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah, because yeah, 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 yeah. it's pretty much gambling. You're wagering. Yeah. You, and I have a hard time with with games with that require you to gambling. wager yeah. anyway. Because I always like, oh, I always, you can like, do wager. the math and be like. Okay, I statistically am probably gonna win this, but like yeah, it's all statistics. Yeah. But like as you progress, you want to kind of like okay, I want to beat this game, so yeah. you want to wager less, right? Because you want to preserve that. Yeah, energy. because once those refresh, now all of a sudden you're gonna respawn people, and then you're just caught back in this loop. So yeah. you just like want to be the most efficient. So so yeah. specifically that decision making is so interesting. Yeah, how much energy to retain? How much energy yeah. to spend on defeating this? And right. then like you know your items are gonna help you, your rerolls are gonna help you. So that that part of the game I think is probably my favorite part. Yeah. That is pretty cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so in the end, what did you think? Yeah, I enjoyed it. Uh, we've played it a handful of times now, and um, it's it's like for what it is, for what you're doing, it, it's really enjoyable. Yeah. Yeah. And yourself? Um, I think, like I said, if you're a fan of the comic, if you're a fan of comic books and mangas, or if you're a fan of co-ops, especially ones that yeah. where you're going out, you're battling, um, you know, bad guys, etc., you're probably gonna like this game. We tend to to sway towards um, euros. Yes. So we don't actually really play any games that have dice rolling to defeat um, bad yeah. guys. So I think that's why it was kind of fresh for us. It was, because, yeah, it was, yeah, kind of, it was also kind of fresh that, in, in that sense. Yeah. But it was, it's just fun. It's just fun. Like yeah. some games, you, you don't, it doesn't always have to be about, um, you know, scoring those crazy points. Sometimes yeah. you just want to have fun. And this game is just fun. Yeah. So I enjoyed it. I would recommend it for sure. Yeah, totally. All right. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, if you enjoyed the video, or if you would like to see more of this kind of stuff, more playthroughs, tutorial videos, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and we will see you later. Bye!